Hello and welcome to the all-in-one iOS 9 developer course. My name is Dennis Panyuta and I'm really proud to present to you all the applications that you are going to build within this course. So I'm just going to show you real quick what we're going to build and I'm going to start with this silly button app where you can just click around and you can see how the number here changes. So you can add up the amount here or you can divide it by two. So these buttons, they only do some very simple mathematical calculations and that's pretty much it. So this is really going to be a very easy start for you to see how buttons work, how to work with the first code and really to make you familiar with the very, very basic features of Xcode. Afterwards, we're going to build the next app, which is going to be a converter app which allows us to convert from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. For example, I want to convert 25 Celsius to Fahrenheit, and then it says 25 Celsius is 77 Fahrenheit. So this converter app will be teaching you some additional features such as this text box here, where you can work with user input. As the third application, we are going to build a calculator which allows us to do multiplication or division and well, in general, the standard calculations. This will teach us how to create a good layout or a layout which works on different screen sizes and also works when you rotate your phone so that you learn some additional features about auto layout and so on. Our fourth application will be a very neat little drawing app, which will allow us to draw in different colors, change the brush size, change the style in which we draw, so in the style in which our color appears. And we'll also have a random color button, which is a different color every time we click this random color button here. Also, we'll be able to share our drawing with our friends. We can save it as an image, then save it as a background and send it via email or WhatsApp or the iCloud photo sharing. Our fifth application will be a stopwatch and a timer. So this will teach us how to run a stopwatch very simply and we can have multiple rounds. So having that will teach us to use this feature of the table views. And in the timer app, we're just going to use here the sliders, which will allow us to set the timer and then we can start and the timer will go down and run for us. We will also learn more about buttons, how we can hide them and change the colors and all of these features. And we're going to use image views, which will allow us to make our app look a little bit nicer. Our sixth application is going to be a seven minute workout application, which will allow Jumping us jacks. To, to use features such as text to speech, Break. And also we're going to use multiple images, which will then go from one image to the next one. We are going to use sound so we can turn sound on and off. Then we have timers again, which run down and the user will be able to do the seven minute workout. In this example, it's just seven exercises, but I'll give you all the knowledge that you need in order to create your very own seven minute workout app or in general, your very own workout application. And distributed to the app store. Our seventh application is going to be a quiz where we can simply start a quiz and then we have some questions with, with a picture. Here's the question, who is this person? So it's Albert Einstein. Then the next question is about who won the soccer world cup 2014. It was Germany and so on and so on. So you will learn how to create a full quiz application. And I'm going to show you how you can very easily change the questions and the answers that can be provided. And by this, you can create your very own set of questions in your very own quiz application. And you even have a high score. So at the top right hand side, you can see the score of how many points the user has achieved by answering the questions correctly. But, uh, yeah, you will simply create this application in a very, very easy manner and I'll teach you all the knowledge that you need. I will show you how to use multiple classes and how to use image views, which can change over uh, with a click. Then our eighth application is going to be a twister game. So in this game, the money will appear here, the sack of money, and we have to follow the sack of money. So I just have to click the buttons that have um, been animated. So you will learn how to animate buttons. So in this case, it was purple, blue, blue, and in the next round, it will be four movements or four animations and so on and so on. So the app is going to make it more difficult and more difficult to find the right order. 
in which the buttons have been pressed. And again, the user is, has a score here, a specific round in which he is. You'll be uh, enabled to create this application, which will allow you to build this application so that it runs on different screen sizes very well as well. As our ninth application, we're going to build this little Space Invaders copy, which is a shooter. And uh, in this case, you will have one after five points, but I'll teach you how you can change the amount of points that the user has to get and you can build a leveling system in the background. So this is um, what we're going to build as our ninth application. It's going to use the sp uh, sprite kit functionality, which allows you to build games within the environment of Xcode. This is going to bring you step by step towards building more complex games. Our next example is a breakout game. So this one is a bit more complex in the requirements and the skills that, that you will have to learn and that you will learn. So I'll teach you all of the features like um, the, the ball jumping around and having the paddle at the bottom. So you will create your own leveling system, which is pretty neat. So here you see, I get to the next level and the level, uh, level changes every time. And we also have a game over screen. So you'll be able to create your very own levels within no time, within a couple of minutes. And well, you can distribute that game to your friends because you, well, you can challenge them to beat your game. Our 11th application is going to be Happy Places. This application is built so that it runs even nicer on iPads and or in general on bigger screens. So here I have my happy places, which is just the London Eye for now. And if I click on that, I'll get to the London Eye here. And I'm in the center of London and I can now zoom, I, zoom in further and see where exactly the London Eye is. I can create new places. I can, ex for example, search for a city. Let's go for New York and I'll automatically be brought to the Commodore John Barry Park and I can see that it's some somewhere in Brooklyn. And then you can search around, you can drag around in the map and you can create your very own favorite places. So let's say you were in Manhattan and you really liked a specific a street or a specific building within that street. So you can just go in this case, private Danny Chen way and tap the screen for a little while. And then you will have this little pin here which will be added to your happy places. So then you will have the private Danny Chen way in New York. And whenever you want to go there, you can go to the, uh, to the place and you see where it is. So it's in New York. And by this, you can create a list of your happy places where you've been and which you really liked. And you can even search for where you are. So here, where am I? I'm gonna click that, nothing happens as I don't have a location, but I can set a location, for example, the Apple location. And then I am at the Apple headquarters. So you can see I'm in San Jose. Our 12th application is a little voice game, which allows me to record some sound and play it with different speeds and with different pitches. So this is a test recording. Now let's run this with full speed. So this is a test recording. And now with a slow speed. So this is a Let's stop test. it. It's too long. And then with our Vader voice. So this is a test recording and with a chipmunk voice so this is a test recording you'll learn how to change all the pitches and all the stuff and also how to create how to create backgrounds buttons with images and all of these things so you're going to be able to play with music play with recordings and so on so these are the 12 applications that we're going to build for now there are other apps which i'm going to add to this course very shortly. So expect even more amazing apps, which will use features such as online applications like Twitter and such as to-do lists, which allow you to save your to-do information online. You'll learn how to use core data in order to save data permanently on your device and so on and so on. So expect even more amazing apps and I'm really looking forward to having you in the course.